In this tutorial, I would like to explain about the equation that we use for freezing point depression and boiling point elevation with the emphasis on the Wenthoff factor. So this is the equation that we use to calculate the change of temperature um, or deviated from the freezing point or boiling point. So if we want to specify the, the change of the freezing point or the change of the boiling point, we can simply put subscripts into the change of temperature. And here we have I, which is called the Wenthoff factor. The K is a constant, and the constant, it depends on the substance. Uh, we have two different constants for the boiling point and the freezing point. And the small m right here is the molality that you previously learned. So let's talk about the Wenthoff factor. So what is the Wenthoff factor? Well, to simplify our discussion, it is basically looking at the looking at the look at the um, substance and to find out how many things that it can dissociate to. And the reason why we would like to look at that is because when we look at the freezing point depression or the boiling point elevation, we find out that it has nothing to do with the nature or the the feed, the, the, the chemical properties of the of the um, of the substance, but it has to do with how many things that will dissociate, and the more it dissociates, the effect of the change of temperature will be greater. So this is why we have this term, the Wenthoff factor. So let's say we look at the first substance here, ethanol, C2H5OH. Well, it is a covalent compound, and it is a covalent compound that don't we really dissociate. So in this case, the Wenthoff factor will be 1 because it cannot dissociate. And if you look at sodium chloride, it is an ionic compound and when it, when it is dissolved in water, it will change, it will dissociate into sodium ion and chloride ion. And given that it is an aqueous solution, when it is dissolved in water. So, when it, so this we have for every one of the NaCl, sodium chloride, we have two things broken up into. So in this case, the Wenthoff factor will be two. And then we can look at the uh, next example. So zinc chloride, ZnCl2, when it is an aqueous solution, meaning it's dissolved in water, it's going to dissociate into zinc two plus and two Cl minus. And we have three things. We have one zinc ion and two chloride ion. So in this case, the Wenthoff factor will be three. And then our last example is iron three nitrate. So when it is dissolved in water, we will have one iron three, uh, iron three plus, and three of the nitrates. Ions. And we have one, two, three, four. Four total. So in this case, the Wenthoff factor will be four. So remember, whenever you dissolve something in water and it, it's going to change the freezing point or boiling point, make sure you look at the substance, do a simple analysis, and see whether they are soluble and see whether they will dissociate so that it may have a different effect on the freezing point depression and the boiling point elevation.